Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vanilla Raccoon and welcome to the hashtag Asiathan SMP. We are currently running the latest snapshot which upon the recording of this video is going to be snapshot 20w17a and I would like to mention that because this is the first time I'm logging onto the server in this snapshot and we have an interesting bug possibly so basically what I'm looking at here is some water dripping from the ceiling which means we have a leaky roof now the reason why this is interesting to me is because at first I thought this was a visual bug and that is because right here where this log is at let me go ahead and take the axe out of my hand because I don't want to accidentally right click on it and turn it into a bark block but not bark a stripped log block uh, but anyways like I was saying oh Oh, that's because it stopped raining. Well, I was going to say that we had water leaking through this part of the roof as well. And once I removed it and then placed it back, the water was gone. So maybe that's what we have to do with the other blocks within the ceiling. But that is a huge, huge, huge step away from what I wanted to show you guys. And it is this. Um... <laughs> oh, it's a conga line, and it's not just any ordinary conga line, it's a conga line containing nothing but ice, and then it wraps all the way around here, because then, <laughs> there's more of them, okay, so, to give you guys some context as to why this amuses me, uh, let me make sure I have my beetle wings on. I do. All right, we're going to take a quick little flight, and whilst we do so, I'm going to explain it. So I was talking to the server mates about how I want to build a tree farm, and this particular design is something that I'm familiar with from the Decidedly Vanilla server back when I played on it, and I helped Nobody's LP construct it. But essentially, we're going to need a lot of ice, and originally, our ice tray was not this ridiculously huge. That does not grammatically sound correct now that I hear myself say that out loud. But anyways, the ice tray used to be about from that wall all the way up until maybe right here. So it was a fairly decent sized ice tray, but Winter Grave decided to go ahead and come over here whilst I was AFK ice farming, the things you say in Minecraft, and he just turned it into a double if not triple Olympic size ice tray so all so needless to say winter you did a good job helping me gather the ice but i'm not sure if this is borderline considered a prank and so what we're going to be doing in this episode is we're going to be constructing the tree farm now i'm planning on building it like right here in this open area i don't think anyone has any current plans as to what they want to do over here if they even have any ideas as to what they want to do over here so if anything it should be easy to remove and for a moment i thought these were shulker boxes which is something else i wanted to show you guys but before we go ahead and do so i just want to mention something um you know here on the hashtag aside in smp we're all friendly with each other, we all are cool with each other, but sometimes I feel like things get out of pocket and hey, it be gone. The other day I saw a uh, armor stand, that's what they called, I saw an armor stand just crying for help in the fire here. I wonder if, oh, yep, here we go, see, we got a little baby on our hands, apparently he's keeping watch at the front door for Professor Jeffy Jeff. But if we come down here, it looks like we have another armor stand that's going to be eyeing him once he comes down. And then, oh, oh, this guy looks like he's just coming from the nether. Sir, was the professor making you go into the nether and harvest all the cool new blocks? <laughs> blink once for yes, blink twice for no. Okay, so I think I'm starting to get away from the main point here. So I want to go ahead and begin to work on this tree farm. And when I bring it back... Hopefully we have it finished and we can knock out a few birds in this one video. That scared me. And here we are, the big reveal for the amazing tree farm that I have crafted here on the hashtag Asiathan SMP. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, please give it a like. It lets me know that you look forward to seeing more content like this. And do not forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. But with that being said, take a look, peeps. This is what we got, okay? So it's pretty simple. And there's something that I would like to ask you in just a moment. As you can tell, on this side at least, we have 
have this intricate pattern utilizing the black stone blocks and then also we have these little campfires well uh soul fires soul campfires whatever they're called in the at, on the edges but then over here if we take a look like for example right here instead of having intricate patterns within the walls we have creeper faces and i am not 100 percent sure if I want to apply the creeper faces on both sides or go back to utilizing an intricate pattern for this side as well so that way they are the same or maybe we want to go asymmetrical or not asymmetrical is that the right term to use I do not think so maybe we just want to leave it as it is and have one side uh, feature creeper faces and the other have the intricate designs but now let's go ahead and take a look at the farm itself now this is something like I mentioned before that I had helped someone build on the decidedly vanilla server during season 3 and it's very simple we have ice running at the bottom at in the floor and then on top of that we have our water sources but then right where the fence yeah right where the fences are at not fences sides apologies there right where the right where the signs are at is where the items are going to well they're going to flow through the water they're going to make it to the signs and then they're going to get caught up in the next flow of water and continue to go down here and the reason why our pods or not pods our platforms are a two by two is so that way we can go ahead and as you see right here begin to grow maybe some dark oak trees or if we need to gather some jungle logs then all we have to do is place down a two by two of that and bada bing bada boom as you can tell at least we already did that because we do have the vines right here however i would like to show you something mm-hmm yep if you take a look at the bottom of your screen you will see that i am down to seven experience and that is because well i thought i logged off on the server because i had to take care of something in real life real quickly and when i came back I saw the whole you died screen so that's kind of unfortunate but nevertheless hey it happens I can get back I can get back up to what what was it 37 experience or something uh, thank you <laughs> I feel like I should lead you back to your flock but I don't know about that so here on the hashtag Asyathen as a P, like I've mentioned many a times in the videos, is that we like to make our own data packs. And this is something that Wintergrave recently made. Well, at least I say recently. I have no idea how long it's been implemented here. But this is something where he made. So as you can tell, we have all this ice right here in our crafting menu. We can craft packed ice. And then we'll go ahead and do something like that. We have, I guess, this left over. Actually, no, that's not how you make packed ice. It's actually a... 3x3 three three, the crafting chest menu okay anyways so here we have our packed ice it's right here if we go ahead and do this boom we can go from having packed ice back to ice now let's go ahead and actually see if we can make blue ice with this now we can't do that okay so once we go ahead and make once we take the packed ice and turn it into blue ice we cannot oh yeah we can hmm well then that's interesting. Okay. I'm pretty sure... I'm not sure if that's an actual vanilla thing or if that is something that Winter made. So that way we can go ahead and reverse it all the way from the end tail. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and begin the next project. And I'll see you guys in just a moment. The more I pass by this area, the more I think that we can add something to this. Whether it be some type of a shopping district or maybe just some type of landscaping and placing some saplings down so they can grow up to become happy little trees. Don't think I don't see you, buddy. I see you. You know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, help you get to where you're going. Wherever that may be, I think. Uh, there we go. Yum experience all right so this is what i've gotten so far in between the previous clip and this one as you may remember we once started to work on a little pathway going into this hillside and it's going to well mm, this could become a long-term project but i'm not entirely sure as you can tell we have an intricate stairwell we have birch as the flooring but then when it comes to the quote-unquote stairs we are utilizing spruce slabs just to give it a nice contrast i was considering the idea of placing some wool blocks within the floor and then placing some carpet blocks on top of the birch planks just so we can have it look a little bit more colorful i do have an idea as to how i want the walls to look 
but I do not have the appropriate number of materials and resources to go ahead and implement them. So we may do that at a later time in a future video or maybe it's just something that I would do off camera in between episodes. But what we have is that hallway coming all the way out through here. Now, for those of you who may not remember from previous episodes when running around this area, this used to be a small little ravine. And so I decided instead of building a house of sorts within a mountainside, why not go ahead and try and make a little base in a ravine? Uh, well, not the ravines that you would find deep underground, but like, you know, the small stuff that you see within the surface of the world where you have like what 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 could have been a small stream of water, but then it decided to just not drown, but dry out. That's what I was thinking of. Wow, I'm bad with wording today. Anyways, so then it's going to lead into this grand room right here. I was thinking of placing a quote-unquote kitchen area where we have a cauldron, a brewing stand, some furnaces of different varieties, but then I thought this would make a great open room for an enchanting station. And I was actually going to make the one enchanting setup where with the flick of a lever certain uh bookshelves will either go up or down so that way you can reduce the max level enchantments that you have in the event that you just want to go ahead and enchant some silly stuff to get the, to get to the good stuff but i'll think about that let me know what you think about that in the comment section though however for this open room i'm not entirely sure what i want to do i want it to have a warm cozy feeling and something that has a modern but rustic look to it and i know those are two complete different genres of building or interior designing but i mean if i can mix you know rustic and ancient greek and roman stuff to make some cool stuff and also some gothic medieval stuff with steampunk and cyberpunk stuff i'm pretty sure i can figure out how to blend the two together but what I am thinking is making a small patio right here. So obviously we would have a door that would let us go out and which means we would have to flatten this. And maybe if we can have a little barbecue or a growing station right here. I'm pretty sure I can find a quick little easy tutorial on how to make those. But then right here we can utilize this little body of water to make it into a koi pond of sorts which means then i'm gonna have to go and grab some buckets and then get some fish but also this may be a challenge that i'm not sure if i can actually accomplish but it's something i am brainstorming and that is relocating a dolphin from the ocean water over there into here or at least extend this body of water all the way to the river that we have right here so that way the dolphins can come and go as they please but i'm going to finish up what i want to for this video and i'll bring it back when it's time to end all right so we're here right. with winter gray for those of you who missed his last episode through the power of youtube cards one will be appearing in the top right corner of your screen that you can click or tap at any point in time throughout this video and it'll take you to it but we are going to be giving him a little gift for a certain reason and here you go Ooh. a white box oh yes wow nice that's something I needed. You know what? I had so much trouble building that without a couple. <laughs> hang on a second. Hang on a second. Open up the shulker box. Yep. Hey, I can access this now. Oh, the bug was fixed. Yeah. Return to sender. All right. Yep. Very so cool. I'll just leave this for you. You may do what you want with the box, but like it says in the title, return to sender once you've done gathering everything from it. Oh, yes. I already finished gathering everything from it, so I'm returning to the sender. Oh, okay then. That was quick. Talk about overnight <laughs> yeah. delivery. <laughs> yeah, that was fine. <laughs> also, real quick, I may or may not have played with your giant robot. Oh, that's fine. It's 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 free to play. Cause uh, when I saw you, when I saw the grand finale in your last episode, it got me so tempted to just go ahead and play with it. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm I'm going to build something else, and and it's going to be very fun. Oh, You'll see when I have it. Alrighty then. Well, that's going right. to do it for this clip, and back to the main show, folks. All right. I am not sure if I showcased this in the previous episode, but Winter Grave went ahead and left us a generous gift. As you can tell, the Shulker box is named a gift for the raccoon. We have a dragon head. We have a diamond pickaxe, which has a breaking three efficiency five on it, which is pretty good. I may try and score a Silk Touch book so then I can place it on my pickaxe because, as you can tell, my netherite pickaxe does not have silk touch but actually you know what now that i hear myself saying this out loud i may just want to put silk touch on this pickaxe as opposed to this one 
yeah, that sounds like a plan. But then we also have this pretty cool Diamond Sword that has Sharpness 4, Looting 3, which will come in handy whenever we come across a Pokemon, Unbreaking 3, and Mending. So that's pretty rad if I do say so myself. But we also have a block of Diamond. So I think that will bring my Diamond collection to a reasonable amount to where I could afford to try and enchant some other different types of Diamond tools should I choose to make them. But we also have another gift from Winter Grave, and it is right here that says, gift box, parentheses, do not return to sender, uh, close parentheses. So that's kind of a reference to me giving Winter Grave a, uh, a gift and everything, because he needed scaffolding, and I went ahead and placed down a shulker box that said, gift box, please return to sender. But let's see exactly what is inside of here. So we got a netherite ingot. We got a certificate? I'm sorry, what? A certificate? <laughs> uh, what does this mean? Gift certificate. The present certificate entitles you to receive the contents of the box it's included in. We appreciate you understand the development of our plant isn't- Wait, what? <laughs> we appreciate you understand the development of our plant is important and that the impact in nature is required but minimal. Thanks again for your acceptance. In Winter Grave Development Co., we care. Best regards, Winter Grave. <laughs> Notwithstanding any provision in this agreement, the company shall not be obligated under this agreement to make any indemnification. I don't know if I pronounced that word correctly. Advance expenses, hold harmless or exonerate payment in connection with any claim made against indictment T. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know what any of that means. Um, I think... <laughs> I think that means... <laughs> you know, big companies. Uh, yeah, whenever you're a big... Whenever you are a big company, you kind of have to... Um cover your tracks okay let's go ahead and showcase what i've done off camera to the underground base that is resting within the naturally formed ravine on the surface of the overworld so i was going to place down a mixture of stone bricks and cracked stone bricks along with chiseled stone bricks within the walls here but i kept picturing something different for a hallway something that did not look rustic or medieval fantasy um Steampunk, all those uh, oversaturated build themes within Minecraft. Not that there's anything wrong with that. It is just I am tired of building along that along those genres. But originally, I wanted to have some type of a neon look. But then I was playing Halo, and my one character in Halo 2 Anniversary, his primary colors is gray, and then his secondary color is red. And I thought that was actually a pretty nice match. So I decided to fiddle around with the different color palettes we could have within the walls and even the ceiling because I wanted the ceiling to complement the gray. Seeing as how gray and I would not call this white but I would maybe call it dirty white. I don't know. Uh, considering the fact that these two colors seem to blend in my opinion at least. So that's why we have the bone blocks as the ceiling and the floor. But let's go ahead and take a look inside of here because I have not done that much furnishing. Also I have some roommates but <clears throat> I decided I'm going to leave this as it is for now because I do not want to extend production on this episode much longer because it has been like maybe two or three weeks now since I recorded the first clip for this episode. Yeah, I've been that busy in real life trying to take care of myself during the whole COVID-19 pandemic. But that's, that's a story for another episode. So this is what I got. I have my enchanting station. I was going to extend the lava floor throughout the whole area of this section at least. Not going up there because that would be tricky to manage. But then I thought that would be too much. And so I just left it right here in the enchanting station. Over here we have our furnaces. So that way we can just smelt up anything we wish. Hello there, buddy. You want to be in the picture? Okay. Right as I got my camera out, he moved. Oh well. So then we also have our crops right here. We have a collection of wheat, potatoes, carrots, beetroots, and... 
What is with everybody photo bombing or video bombing in this case? Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to have to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. It lets me know that you look forward to seeing more content like this. And if you're new to the channel, then consider subscribing. Make sure you have notifications enabled so that way you know when a new video is made available for you to watch, like, and share with your family, friends, but most importantly, your dearly beloved pets. With that being said, my name is Vanilla Raccoon. You have been awesome. I would like to wish you a happy day and peace out.